let's come back and see the applications of phosphine so basically this is one quite uh, interesting question which is asked that is what is ohm signal now let's see in ohm signal now what is the signal basically whenever you find like whenever you just uh, when i'm speaking about your uh, sea when you are moving around the sea suppose it's completely dark you have to find approaching ships which are there then they are going to use this phosphine for producing that red light that is your ohm signal so basically ohm signal is used for uh, finding <coughs> approaching ships approaching ships so what how does this happen let's see now what do they do they're going to take i'm just drawing the vague diagram they're going to take small cans like this these cans are perforated at the below they have, they have holes in below and you have one more hole and above done what do they do in this particular thing they're going to uh, introduce calcium phosphide i've already shown you how did i prepare calcium phosphide ca3 then one more is calcium <coughs> carbide okay phosphorus valency is 3 calcium valency is 2 <laughs> this one uh, uh, calcium valency is 2 carbon valency tetravalent so calcium carbide okay done to this what am i going to do i'm going to introduce water so to this calcium carbide we are when it is uh, cal sorry, calcium phosphide or calcium carbide is taken in the tank when they when they along with this when they drop those cans in water first important thing the product which is formed is just see ph3 phosphine is formed along with that calcium hydroxide also is done let us first balance and see mm, suppose if i take okay calcium is 3 here i'm going to take 3 phosphorus is 2 here i'm going to take 2 and 6 okay done let's see calcium c3 3 here phosphorus is 2 2 here hydrogen is 6 2 is a 12 3 2 is a 6 and 3 2 is a 6 12 oxygen is balanced so this is your phosphine now same thing when i take calcium carbide suppose first important thing calcium <coughs> just see it come, uh, comes out as calcium hydroxide same as above and the leftover c2h2 so this is nothing but acetylene c2h2 is nothing but acetylene so this is your acetylene let's see it is balanced calcium is balanced here acetylene two carbons are balanced hydrogen so if i have to see how many hydrogens here one two here two 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 is a four so let me write two now oxygen is how many two balanced so now i'm going to get two important products one is phosphine and one is acetylene now what happens this phosphine <coughs> along uh, it it combines with this acetylene once it combines with acetylene it's going to explode it's going to give or it get not explode if i have to say it get ignited then it will get ignited and immediately it's going to give a red light in that from that can so these two are already formed in the reaction so what will I write phosphine and acetylene combine together and <coughs> form or and get ignited and get ignited and produce and produce red light okay this red light is used as a signal for approaching ships the signal for those approaching ships so this is called your ohm signal if they ask you try to mention this reaction one reaction two this is your third one you're going to underline it's going to produce red light and which is given as a signal for approaching ships